Good morning, I'll start over. My blood sugar was 134, if I forget. Come on up here. Jump. Or he'll sit there and stare at me. I had him in the blood sugar and get away. The power went off just a minute ago, came up back home. And it messed up my video. Come on, jump up here. Jesus Christ. Attitude, I don't need this morning. You got an attitude. He complains. Blood sugar was pretty high. Not real high, but higher than normal. I know it. You like okay? Uh, let's see here. I'm about 90% done with my jewelry area. About about the same in my arts, arts and crafts and bookmaking. I still can't find my calligraphy pens and my ink and stuff like that. But I found most of the other bookmaking stuff. We went and bought three of them bins yesterday. I found them on sale. Instead of 19, I paid 16. Uh, I bought three big ones. I have two little ones, so that makes five. Dad can't count. And uh, I got one of the little ones pumped full up with ribbons. Uh, and leftovers are in the other bins. Hush, complaining. My art station's all piled up. And I don't know what I'm going to do my sewing. I'm going to need to make a sewing station. I'm slowly running out of room, though. I get done today or tomorrow. I'll show you what all my progress I've done. Uh, I can still find out and get to some stuff. Mm. My daughter's supposed to come this weekend. Yeah. I still ain't done nothing with these beads. I've got no place to put them. Leave them hanging there, I guess, until I get ready to use them. Mm. I just got up, you can tell. Uh, 7 o'clock? Yeah. About 10 minutes after 7, I guess. Something like that. Ugh. Well, I slept late. I bet I stayed up late and worked. Ugh. I'm telling you, I'm just tired here lately. I found a bunch of my cameras though. I need to move them. Give me more room on that deal. I just ain't got it perfected yet, but I'll get it there. Mm. Uh, my uh, arts and crafts, I have so much of that stuff. Stencils and they all kinds of stuff. Little ink things, ribbons. I know I had a whole bunch of ribbon deals. I make up a bunch of stuff for Christmas. And I use a lot of ribbon when I make books. When I make some junk journals, I'll make them. Now when I make the amwals and uh, the quimwals or whatever you want to call it. And the uh, Book of Spells and stuff like that, the thing right in. I don't use so much of that stuff. I use a lot of hot glue gun. When I make one of them up, I always put them a magic wand in there. Since you ain't magic, you may get out of a damn chopstick. I used to make them out of willow branches, but I got tarred carbon. <laughs> I'm getting lazy in my old age, I'm telling you. I make them out of a hot glue gun and, and a chopstick instead of an old willow branch like you're supposed to make them out of, or an oak branch, whichever you want to twiddle on.
each one of the wands was years and years ago. This is where the legend goes if you want to get into that shit. Each wand was made out of a different tree. And I believe there's seven... I can't believe it's either seven or nine trees that never lose its leaves. They lose their leaves, but they always stay green, like greenery all year round. <clears throat> but anyway, and uh, let's see, uh, Willow does, uh, what is it, it's, that wand makes, sprouts a new life, and blah, 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 and then the oak does something, and you'd have to look it up. I used to write it, all that shit down, but I don't. I don't get into that crap anymore. I ain't too much of a pagan anymore. I ain't no Christian either, so there you go. I'm a child of a living God. My Christ lives. Yeah, they took him down from the cross. They came back. That's what Easter is all about. The resurrection. I think we had a good Friday, didn't we? We had Palm Sunday this Last Sunday was Palm Sunday. The Jews had their Passover. I don't celebrate too many Jewish holidays anymore since my wife passed. She knew all of them. I guess if you was a Jew, you'd know them all, huh? I'm looking around at things I got to do. Bought me some new pliers yesterday. I got a whole set of heavy duties to bend that wire and stuff. Uh, let's see what else. I bought some ties so I can go camping. Them zip ties. I always, when I go to Harbor Freight, I buy zip ties. Can't have too many of them, some bitches. No telling about life anymore. Oh, yada yada. Uh, I ain't heard from my sister in a day or so. I guess she's still alive. Good Lord willing. I talked to that, listened to that woman wanting to commit suicide, didn't have the courage. Well, hell, that's a carriage way out, shit. That's the way I consider it, shit. Life's an adventure, live it to the fullest. Then when the end comes, you can say, well, hell, I had an interesting life. Let's see if I, if I have an, an interesting hereafter. Or it's just a void of darkness. But I believe energy don't die, so there you go. That's all we are, is energy. I do believe that one part where it says ain't no work in the grave, so I got me a bunch of sweat stations put up. <laughs> I'm going to work to the day I croak. Mm. Keep your hands busy. And your mind and a good thought. Ugh. My eyes are watering this morning. I still got a bunch to do, but... Meh. It ain't as bad as it was. Uh, dog settled down. Uh, I've still got to find a home for this stuff. Well, I'll tell you what you can do with these beads. You take your, a, like a cardboard structure or something like that, and Glue the beads to not to the cardboard structure, but to their cells, and then take the cardboard structure out of the center of it, and you got a vase or a, or, a, or a container that's nothing but beads. That's what the hot glue gun's for. I use the hell out of a hot glue gun when I get going with it. There's all things you can do with it. 
I got an industrial glue gun around here somewhere. Hot glue. It don't use the normal sticks, it uses them damn other kind of sticks. And it gets hot. Damn, that's a bunch of melt plastic. So you can't use the round thing plastic. It's made for glass or something. Dog, you're getting to be a pain over there. They tore up the divan. Try to get under, under the covers. Uh, yeah, but I get it all done. I gotta find a home for them cameras. Get my emergency bag that's got my blood pressure machine in it and uh, my auction level machine in it and a bunch of other machines. Emergency oxygen tent thing. In case I get up above 10,000 feet and can't breathe, I can jump out of a plane. My hair is standing straight up. A little bit I got it. Yeah. Make you a little station in the basement or whatever. Or I'll tell you what I did do though. I, I've i been holding back comments and, and I read them every evening and then I approve them. I mean, I've been, somebody been lives in the basement or a dugout cellar or whatever, bunker or whatever you want to call it. He's been sending nasty messages on my, uh, on my comment deal, so I had to review all that. I want the public to see all that nastiness. But you can't, you know, there's always somebody that has a worse life than you got. That's what the way I figure. I love seeing daylight in the cell. I, wouldn't, I couldn't live in a basement or a cellar all the time. I did that when I worked down the double layers down in the morgue and stuff and down in the lab. No. Me, I couldn't wait to go take samples. Sometimes we had to go out and take our own water samples and our where there's a crime scene or something like that, I loved it. Uh, yeah. The world can tell you a lot if you stop and listen to it. But I had to monitor my, review my comments, and I also took off the thumbs up, thumbs down. I still look at them every day. But the public don't have to see that crap. I bet he's crying in his basement now. I figured out the machine. We gotta have a hold of the comments. I normally don't have time to mess with people, but I did that just for mainly my people that came by and that way they can read the comments a day later or whatever. Go back and watch the channel again and read the comments. I read them within a 24-hour period. I still got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm just amazed I own so much crap. <laughs> uh, at least I can sit there at the table and make jewelry, or I can sit at the other table and uh, make a book or make a journal or whatever, or do some calligraphy. There you go, I said it without my teeth in. Hell, I'm pretty good at that. I don't know the hell, I know where my pens are and my ink is still burning that desk, but the hell, it's back to the damn ceiling. And then I got a, my art, I got to move them damn sewing machines. I don't know where the hell I'm going put them. I would need to really need that four station, but I ain't got no room in here unless I throw out the dog's divan and I ain't doing that. The poor little dogs have to have something to lay on. They don't have to lay on me, so hell with that shit. Boy's right up against my leg right now until I get my sugar glue down. Did I take my medicine? I didn't take my medicine. I'm gonna take my medicine. I know I didn't take a bath for me. Ice machine's right, I know. Chris has got all this stuff now. All you gotta do is 
put it hooked down and get his faucet hooked in and I moved the electric because I don't want him moving, messing with that because I don't think he could, that's what the hell he's doing. I don't want to get him electrocuted. Surely he won't drown hooking up a faucet. <laughs> I never did show him a lot of stuff. I let him learn stuff on his own. Most fathers, they show their son every damn thing under the sun, especially what they know. No, I didn't do that. I didn't pick out his career. He wanted to be a truck driver. He didn't want to go to college. He said the college life wasn't for him, so okay. He picked out he likes to be a truck driver. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. My oldest daughter, she stayed in college till she's 50. <laughs> she's certified doing so damn much shit, it's unreal. I bet she went to school for 20 years. On my dime, too. She couldn't find herself. First marriage didn't do it. I guess the second marriage didn't do it either. She's still with him, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I hate supporting her, so it's pretty damn good. Hell, she's 60 something years old. Support her damn self, finally. She didn't until she's 50, though. Her husband supports her now, though, I'm sure. Size girl, boy, she she's all relies on herself. She's supposed to show up though. She stays busy. I think I lifted the traveling man. That's what she'll be up doing now. Going here, going there, going here, going there. I ain't had my shot. I figured my doctor's office will get it eventually. Do if they don't, I will. What the hell? I'm getting low on my men's vitamins. I ain't walked hardly any steps. 488 steps. That's all I've walked this morning. I just go to the bathroom. <laughs> the damn big house. Sauce and then it tasted pretty good. Or barbecue sauce or something. Or some ketchup on it, some mustard. I had fish last night. Ooh, fish last night for supper. That's all I had, but just fish. No vegetables, no nothing, no bread, no nothing. Just pieces of fish. Baked them in the oven. I love that little toaster oven. I use the hell out of it. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk too long today. I say that every damn morning. What's the matter with where your hip hurting? Poor little thing's getting old like me. I don't slow up working around here. I, don't, I love to just sit down at a table and get my mind on like making jewelry or making a book or doing some crafting or painting a painting. I mean, hell, I'm you know, just sitting there thinking, living in my own world. I need a whole room dedicated to someone though. Yes, I do, because there ain't no way in the hell I can put that... Uh, blanket stretcher in this damn ceiling is too damn cool. Go ahead and walk on me, Ori. Anybody else does. Go. Go. Go on. Oop. 
be almost filled with the gum. I'll hold it now, jump. He's looking over there to see what he can get into. I take my meds and he's gone. That's all you put, you're good for. It and gripe. Uh, jump. He's got two feet on the van and two feet on the arm of my chair. Now he finally jumped up on the arm of the van. So there he goes. Now he's in the van. Now he's gone. Uh, good riddance. That's what I saw it. I gotta start back. I'm about halfway to it, done a, a dream catcher. I gotta finish it up. I need a station for that shit, too. I make it over at the Arts and Crafts Bar. I sit here in the chair, but then I can switch over and get, get some gems and, and stuff and put it inside the dream catcher. <coughs> You can make one for little little boys and little girls. You put butterflies in it and yeah, little dips and fairies and stuff in it for the little girls and the boys. You put baseballs and basketballs, little silver basketballs and bats and kayaks, little small boats and stuff like that. And if you're going to make a dream catcher for a young child, you make it for a woman, put diamonds and rubies in the damn thing. You gotta know the person a little bit before you make a dream catcher. Uh, they're supposed to catch the good dreams and keep the bad dreams from coming. So whatever you want them to dream about, that's what you put in the dream catcher. Do your history. But say, well, it just looks pretty. Well, there's a foot. There's a thought behind it. If you're a pagan, some of the oldest religions were pagans. I couldn't figure too much between it and the Catholic religion, so. And I ain't got nothing against Catholics. The hell, you got, you had all the Greek gods, well, you got all the saints. You got Mother Mary, and Jesus, and God. And all the disciples. All the saints you can pray to, so what's the difference? religion, then the Jewish religion, to them it's religions. Buddha and Confucius, Confucius wasn't nothing but, but, but logic. There's a reaction and, and Counter act reaction. An action and a reaction, that's what we call it. Where you going? He's gonna go get on the damn heater, he run him off. Well, I'm gonna go talk to you guys later. Have that great day and remember one another. And uh, like I said, always look out the window and see a bright and sunny day. And then if they ain't one, just look, stare at a painting with a, or a magazine that's got a bright and shut it Sunday day on it. Ain't nothing wrong with living in a dream world either. Most of us. <laughs>